What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Joeezy. Welcome to another edition of Joeezy Delivers. My long time viewers, welcome back to my new viewers. Welcome to the channel. Okay, today is Thursday, March 2nd, the second day of the month. And this is how much we made so far during the week, considering that we only worked like half a shift on Wednesday. We did record, but then I decided not to release it because I didn't really work that much. So considering that, Monday, Tuesday, we did work. Wednesday, we made half a shift, and this is how much we made. On Instagram, we made $89.89. On Uber Eats, we made $91.80. And on DoorDash, we made $55.84. And we got $20 from a customer. And I will tell you guys the story right now. $20, so we're gonna add that. For a total of $253, no, $257.53, guys. This $20, so I was doing an order yesterday, right? I did a $7 Uber Eats order for like two, no, three miles, three miles, $7. I go in there and then the guy's like, hey, can you go and pick me something up from the gas station? I'm like, you know, he's like, oh, can you pick me something up from the gas station? I'll give you $20. I'm like, $20? Yeah, of course, let's go, baby. So he told me what to get, went to the gas station. I came back and then I gave, I gave him a $10 change. I'm like, look, this cost, you know, there's like $10 left. He's like, okay, keep the $10, here's 10. So he gave me 20 bucks, guys, $20. Have you, have, this is the first time that's ever happened to me where I got like a side job that are not on the apps where they say, hey, can you go pick me this up? I'll pay you this. Let me know, guys, let me know if you guys happen. This is the first time in my life, I've been doing this for years. First time I, I ever get offered that stuff. I did it guys, so we, we had the $20. Okay, another thing is, as you can tell from the title, we got another opportunity from DoorDash to get our acceptance rate back to where it was back then when we were making good money. It was, so I'm gonna read the email with you guys. It's basically to uh, uh, reset the acceptance rate. And I thought I got this email and I thought I got it reset. And now they give me another email. Maybe I didn't get the email, but I thought I got the email and I did reset it. So maybe they're giving people a second chance, I guess. I don't know. But this is what it says. You are eligible to reset your acceptance rate. Unlock priority access by resetting your acceptance rate. You gave it previously interested, uh, expressed interest in resetting your acceptance rate or did not choose to reset when we last provided the opportunity. So I guess I, I never, I got the email, but I never reset it, I guess. I guess because I never used it. We're excited to share that you are eligible to reset your acceptance rate and get priority access to higher paying orders. Priority access makes it more likely that you receive high, prior, high paying orders. Currently pay at least $2 per mile, at least it says. During delivery and total pay, including base pay, peak pay and tips in your area. So that could mean that it is, if it's a two mile order, it could be $4, which is not good, but whatever. Opt in below by april 2nd to get priority access your one-time acceptance rate resets will be processed on april 3rd and your new rate will appear in the app after you accept the decline and or an order after that date oh okay so so if i accept it now i don't it doesn't get reset until april 3rd is that what it is oh i thought i had to i thought that was today it says how the program works reset your acceptance rate you have until April 2nd to opt in for a one-time reset, uh, reset of your acceptance rate. Get priority for high paying orders. If you opt in, you'll receive priority access for at least two weeks after your acceptance rate is reset. Use this time to keep up your ratings. Maintain ratings to keep priority. After two weeks, you'll need a customer rating of at least 4.5 and an acceptance rating of, of 50. All right, guys, so I don't know if I could, let me, I don't know if I could, uh, if I reset it now, because I was thinking about doing uh, DoorDash Earn by Time on this video but we uh if i don't get it reset then i'm just gonna stick with uh i'm gonna stick with i'll let you know guys i'll let you know all right with that being said i'll let you know what the strategy is after i reset it to see if it gets reset now or i have to wait until april 3rd but with all that being said i will let you know don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the youtube world and if you like this video at the end and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries just subscribe all my people before you go i got the sifo just so you know drink the sifo and let's effing go we're gonna have a good day guys oh i have something else to tell you all right so all what i wanted to tell you guys also is that i got a message from from a viewer saying hey are you planning on telling us what the what the project you're working on is or is it a top secret? And I'm like, bro, you're right. I don't know why I'm not telling you guys. I mean, the thing is, I don't want to be talking about it too much, but it seems like I am talking about it too much. I'm just working on an app, guys. I'm working on an app and it's, it's basically based on gig on, on, on us gig drivers. It's going to start off as an income tracking app 
and then I'm gonna be adding features as once I release it and I start getting the bugs, you know, cause people need to be using it to fix bugs and stuff like that and and all of this. After I start getting all that, it, it becomes a very smooth app. I'm gonna start adding more things, which the income thing is probably not gonna be making, is not gonna make money because, or as much money. It is probably gonna make me some money if I put ads on it, but it's not gonna make me a lot of money at first because there's a lot of income tracking apps out there, but I don't think there's income tracking apps that track like how much you made on DoorDash, how much you made on Instacart, and what you're, and you could input, I'm thinking about putting your, how much miles, like you could put how many miles you put and your and the hours you worked, and then it calculates your dollars per mile, dollars per hour and stuff like that. So I was thinking about like doing, thing is I don't track my miles or my hours, but I know a lot of people do do it. So that's why I'm kind of like right now I'm thinking, man, should I add that? Should I not add that? Maybe I should add it because, but let me know, let me get, let me know in the comments what you guys usually track and what you usually do so I can make it easy for you guys. Cause this, this app is for us. It's for like the gig, the gig people, you know? So I'm doing that. And then once I do that, I'm gonna add more things. That other things that I'm gonna add, I'm not gonna talk about that. That is gonna be uh, is gonna be a lot bigger, guys. I promise. But for now, it's just gonna be that. And remember, I'm a solo. I'm a self-taught programmer, guys. I'm not. I knew, I didn't go to school. I didn't go to uh, school to study computer science. I went to school to study uh, finance and business. So computer science, like you know, it's it's a lot of logic required when you're built when you're programming. So it takes me some time. It takes me longer than anyone that went to school for this stuff, you know? I mean, I'm, I am know how to code and stuff, but it takes me some time, guys, you know? That's why I haven't, re I mean, I just started working on it. And as I'm building this, I'm thinking, man, we take for granted how hard it is to build apps, man. It is hard because it requires a lot of logic, like little simple buttons that change, that change colors if you do something else. Something so simple, right? You would think, oh, that's easy. That's not that's not that easy, guys. But but yeah, guys, uh, that's that's basically what I'm working on. When I start referring to like, oh, I'm gonna work on my project. I'm not gonna say that anymore. Oh, I'm gonna work on the app. So so at least you guys know that I'm working on an app out there that's gonna be released. Hopefully, I'm thinking hopefully by the end of the month, we will see what happens. But let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see on the app in terms of income. Income, um, I don't know. Maybe do you want to see expenses too? I'm just focusing on income and then breaking down how much you made on each app, DoorDash. I made this much in DoorDash, this much in Instacart, this much in Ship, this much in Amazon. I have to get all the other apps, Amazon Flex, all the apps that I don't do. And then the miles, like what would you guys like to have? What type of app, I guess? When it, and then after that, I'll deal with that later. But for now, that's what it is. That's what I've been working on from two to five every day. And I'm enjoying it, guys. That's another thing. That's another thing that I keep, that I keep, I'm trying to stress people uh, out to people. Do things that you love. Like I love making videos on YouTube, like doing deliveries and then reading you guys' comment. I love it. Now I found something else that I I love. I love coding, guys. I love I love coding, guys. It's it's it's, it's pretty fun. It, it can get and it, it's very time consuming too. Like you could be stuck on a problem and be there the whole night. I, I've had nights where I would wait, go to sleep late the last few weeks. I'm like, oh my goodness. But whatever. Uh, that's enough for that. Okay, I decided what I'm gonna do. We are going to do the same thing, 11 to 2, 5 to 9, and we are going to do the DoorDash Earn By Time, and we are going to accept every Earn By Time order, and I am going to accept it, guys. Not like the last video where there was like a 16-mile order. I'm, like, oh, I'm not doing 16 miles. If there's a 16-mile order that pops up, I'm going to do it. I don't care. I'm going to do every single DoorDash order. But I am going to multi-app as well, do the other apps, but I'm going to do the DoorDash Earn By Time, I don't care what pops up on DoorDash, I'm gonna do it. I don't care. And But if I get another order somewhere else, Instacart, Uber Eats, I will do that. That is the plan. Let's go make it happen. All right, the time is 10.56 in the morning. And we started, or no wait, we accepted. Our first order of the day, DoorDash 2.8 miles. That's it, it's, uh, it's earned by time, so let's do it. Even, guys, I was ready to accept it if it said 16 miles. I was ready to accept it, but it said 2.8, so that's good. All right, let's go get it. All right, guys, we made it. The name of the place is called Meat and Bone. I actually came to this place a lot of times back when I used to do corner shop, and they pay good. They pay good, but DoorDash probably pays a lot less. You already know. Hey, how you doing? It's to pick up a uh, DoorDash. Here, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good one. 
All right, we got the order. Let's deliver. Guys, I wouldn't be surprised if, if this is like a $300 steak. It's expensive. Look, guys, you see? If it's asking for the customer signature before dropping off the order, you already know that it's an expensive steak. So, yep. Good, good. You think you signed this piece? Bro, what's going on, man? Yo, this used to be so good to earn by time, man. I used to get tip order after tip order. Now I'm doing getting no tips all the time, man. But you know what? I'm already committed, guys. I'm committed. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep doing this thing the whole day. Even if I get no tip after no tip. So we'll see. Let's, let's, uh, we're at 21%. We have to be at 50%. 50 to get at least some tip orders. Man, but when I started though, when I started the earn by time, I was like at 8% and I was getting tipped orders. Da, da. Everything was a tipped order. Now I'm getting no tip after no tip. Even a meter, that order, that's order probably expensive, man. And to get no tip for that, that's crazy. I mean, bro, I, I I know, I'm pretty sure, I mean, look, I knew that this was gonna happen. I remember in my videos, I would say, guys, we gotta take advantage of this because it's not gonna be like this forever. This is new. And obviously, yeah, everyone's, you know, most people are doing earn by time now. So now I'm not getting all the tipped orders. Now everyone's getting tipped orders. So it's like oversat, the earn by time is already oversaturated, I guess. But whatever, man, I mean, I already told you guys, I'm gonna do it. I gotta make it up for you guys for the last video that I, I I didn't do it. I did it for like two orders and then I got mad. I'm like, forget it. I got two no tip orders. I'm like, you know, I'm not gonna do this anymore. So I stopped doing it. But this one, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for you guys. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Let's go. All right, the time is 11.18. We accepted another DoorDash, but I'm not trying to cut corners and, 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 and do illegal turns. I'm just gonna come here, make a right. Make a U-turn, calmly go to the store. It's 1.7 miles. Let's go. All right, guys, we made it here. Boy Tropical. Let's go. Gracias. Gracias. All right, we got the order, guys. Let's go deliver. All right, the time is 11.30 in the morning and we immediately accepted another order. It's uh, point, 0 0.9 miles, that's it. So at least we're getting paid the $11 an hour because we haven't been really, we've been accepting DoorDash after DoorDash. So, I mean, it's been, it's been crappy orders obviously, but at least we're getting paid. But we'll see what happens in the end. Okay, we made it to the destination. The, the name is called Malanga a Cuban Cafe, all right. Confirm, confirm. Gracias. Okay, this is, yeah. All right, we got the order. They said, oh, we have to, you know, it's going to be ready like in five minutes or so. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine by me. And I sat down patiently. All right, now let's go. Gracias. Okay, the time is 11.48 in the morning and we accepted another DoorDash order, 2.9 miles McDonald's. And I accepted it right after I dropped off the other one. So I, we've been getting order after order, so no break time. So it's been $11 an hour, if you think about it. Plus, plus the one or two dollar tip I keep getting. The first one was zero. And confirm, confirm. Thank you. All right, we got the order, guys. It was nice and ready. Let's deliver. Slowly, let's deliver slowly. Let's go. All right, my people, the time is 12, 12 p.m. And we accepted finally a decent order, man. After eating up all those bad orders, $14, but it's Uber Eats though. Uber Eats, $14, 3.9 miles. It is two restaurants, but it says the same, it's the same customer. So two different restaurants, but one drop off. Let's go, baby, let's go. All right, name of the first place is Sweet Greens. They're always ready, but if they're not, oh, well, I hope they are. Perfect. Alright, this is the first one. Let's go to the second restaurant. Alright, I thought that the, the app said that it's from the same eater, the same customer, but it has two different names. So it could be that maybe Uber lets you place an order with your friend and then split the cost. I don't know. We'll see. 
Okay, second restaurant is called Crumble Cookies, a place that I've been wanting to buy cookies for in a lot for a long time. I might buy it this weekend just to give myself like a treat, you know? Let's go. Hello. To pick up? Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, we got the order, guys. Let's start our delivery journey. Thank you. All right, so we're done with the, the both of the orders. Both of the orders were from the same building, same floor, 16th floor, same apartment number. I went up all the way to the 16th floor. I delivered it, and then when I and then I realized it was the same. I had to go all the way back down, get the other food, go back up. So I had to go to the same floor, up, down, up, down twice. It's because they don't, it didn't tell me, I think it told me in the beginning, but it didn't tell me like after delivering the first one, like, hey, this is the same or before delivery or it, it, sh it should have told me that, hey, this is the same address, both foods. I would have taken both foods up there, but whatever. It's all good. We are done. Let's continue the grind. All right. The time is 1247 and we accept it. A $7.75 over each order for four miles. Let's go get it. Let's do it. All right, guys. We made it to our destination. The name of the place is called Just Salad. Let's go eat Just Salad. I'm just gonna take it over it's ready, ready. All right, let's deliver. Let's do it. Thank you. I just step on the way out. Oh, okay. Thanks. All right, the time is 1.12 p.m. and we accepted a DoorDash order, our first long DoorDash order. Highly likely a no-tip order. I don't know, but it is for eight and a half miles, guys. Eight and a half miles. Oh my goodness, wish me luck. It should be ready because I don't think anybody wanted to take this order. Oh, it's not even ready. Oh, perfect, yeah. Thank you, I'm going. All right, we got the order, guys. Let's go deliver. Okay, guys, to make up for the bad order, we accepted a $10 order for Instacart. Like, four items that's it and it's like two miles or something like that so that'll make up for it let's go get it all right guys we made it to Publix I've never been to this Publix in my life oh I don't even have my wallet okay I got my wallet now it's time to get these four items real quick let's get the first item these tall chicken bags chicken kitchen bags Second item is Almond Breeze, but what is it, original? That's it. So right here, original. The third item is Honey Nut Cheerios, family size. The last item I've never seen before in my life. Red Jacket Apple Cider. What is this, apple juice? Wow, well, we're done though. Okay, my people, it's been three minutes and we are done. That's it, four throw items. All right, let's go pay for this and deliver. All right, my people, it's two o'clock. We are going to officially clock out for the lunch shift. We'll be back at 5.30, but it was a success for me. We took a lot of bad orders, but the mileage wasn't that bad. The eight mile order was bad, but we made it up with a $10 order for like two miles or something. It was like two miles because I had to drive two miles and then the, the person's house was right next to the public. So it was easy. So it was good guys. For me, it was a success. I had to eat up a lot of those no tip orders, but it'll get better. It'll get better when um when I am at 50%. I will be at 50% hopefully. I'm going to do the strategy. I'm going to continue doing the, the strategy again uh, for the dinner shift. Hopefully in the next few days, I'll be at 50%. And I already did the reset my acceptance. So I will be at like 100% supposedly. You know, once once I once I get like reset, I guess after I do my first order, first is zero percent. I was reading it, and then after you accept your first one, that's it's gonna be one hundred percent. So it's gonna take out your last hundred orders. <clears throat> I was reading how that was, but uh, but yeah, guys, let's do that, and uh, I will be back for the dinner ship. Let's go. All right, the time is five o four p.m. and we are gonna get ready to have our dinner ship. Same strategy, DoorDash, earn by time, I'll take whatever, I guess. Instacart, Uber Eats, let's go get it. 
All right, the time is 5.09 p.m. and we accepted our first DoorDash order of the afternoon. As soon as I went online, boom, I got this order. Outback Steakhouse, DoorDash, 1.4 miles. Let's go get it. All right, we made it to Outback. Usually these orders are not ready. Outback not orders, but whatever, we'll wait. It doesn't matter. Oh, it looks like it's ready. There's some orders that I see. I don't have that one ready, so okay. you can just wait in the car. Thank you. All right, guys, so the order's not ready, but I'm waiting here in my car. It's all good. All right, guys, we got the order, and the guy, one of, not the guy that you saw there, but another dude, he came out, he brought the food, and he's like, hey, I watch your videos, man. I was interested in doing it, so I was just watching. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, man. So a guy that watched the videos, he works here. That's, man, that's, I love it, man. I love when that happens. All right, let's go deliver. Thank you. Thank you. All right, the time is 527. We accepted a 10-mile DoorDash order. 10 miles. But you know what? It's going... It's going to an area where I wouldn't mind doing Uber Eats and, and, and Instacart. So I guess if we get a no tip 10 mile order, then we'll make it up with, with uh, Uber Eats and Instacart over there. We'll do it. All right, let's go. Actually guys, I changed my mind because I just realized it is traffic hour. It's after five o'clock. I'm not trying to go there. That's gonna take me forever. Forget it. I'm gonna cancel it guys. Forget it. No. Uh. No way, I told you guys I was going to accept everything. All right, I'm gonna accept it, I guess. Let's do it. I wouldn't normally, I would've, I would've, I would've canceled it if I didn't promise you guys this. I forgot, I forgot, but I guess it's a good strategy, this during lunchtime. Dinner time is not good because of the traffic, but whatever, let's do it. All right, to make matters worse, this is in that ghost kitchen that always ignores us, but it's okay. Positivity is the attitude. Let's go. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. This employee was amazing. I love it. Okay. Let's go deliver. Thank you. Okay. The time is 6.30 and we accepted an $11 Uber Eats order. Uber Eats is time for six miles. Let's go. Thank you. Was that, All right, guys, we got the order back there. Let's deliver. It says 5.7 miles. So that's good. Okay, let's go. Yeah, All right, the time is, what time is it? It is 7, 10 p.m. And we accepted a, what is it? A, a $9 Instacart order for how many items? Three items. That's it. All right, let's go. I think this is the first item. I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah, it's the first item. Wow, that was easy. The second item is some type of sandwich here. Uh, what is it? Uh, deli roast beef. Deli roast beef. Roast beef. Come on, roast beef. Where you at? They got a lot of sandwiches here, but not the roast beef. Yes, roast beef. We got it. We got it. Oh, yeah. Last item is here somewhere. It's uh, some type of green tea. Right here, this is the last item, and we are done. All right, it's been one minute and 52 seconds, and we are done, guys. These three items, let's go pay for this and deliver. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you for watching. All right, this is how much we made for the day. On Instacart, we made $28.18. On Uber Eats, we made $38.48. And on DoorDash, we had two shifts. We made $19.27 and then $8.39. And we made $33 on ship. I got myself on the ship schedule the other day. Look, this camera's messing up. I got myself on the ship schedule the other day. I'm like, ah, let me see if I got any shipped orders or whatever. And I was able to do some late night ship deliveries. So we made $33 for a total of $127.32. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. What, what, it was a terrible day eating up all these no tip orders. And then we ended up good. I love it, guys. Hopefully it happens uh, on the next shift. What I'm going to do is, well, how, how about this? On the next shift. I'm not going to take the two to five break because I'm going to do something Friday night, which is tonight. So I'm going to work throughout those days, two to five. So I'm going to work from like 11, 1130 to like seven o'clock, something like, like seven, six, seven hours. So 
If you want to check it out, that's going to be on my next video. But if you made it to the end of this journey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button to help me blow up in the YouTube world. And if you like this video and you want to watch future videos of me doing deliveries, just subscribe all my people. Keep hustling out there. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Stay positive. If you're not having a good time, if you're like in a rut, if you're like in, stuck in a hole, if your mind is not right, wake up the next day. Tomorrow's another day. Wake up the next day. Love yourself. Believe in yourself. Knock it out. Work hard because you are the only one that's gonna make it happen for yourself. Nobody's gonna make it happen more than yourself, guys. So you gotta believe in yourself. You gotta do what you gotta do to make your dreams become a reality. It's your boy, Joe Easy. Let's go.